Hey, I'm back. Action. I owe you amazing people here a million apologies because the last video I posted was like in February this year. Well, a lot of things happened in 2018. As you can see, I cut my hair, I lost my hair, put on weight, lost weight, put on weight again. But basically, I've been just swamped with commercial works. Had the honor of shooting back to back for some of the most prestigious banks in Malaysia. There was this May Bank shoot that I have to do. There's the RHB Bank shoot that I have to do and there's Petronas shoot. In fact, next week, I've got a whole week of shoot that I have to do for Taylor's University. Anyhow, my sincerest apologies to all of you. Some of you guys are so nice. You wrote in to me almost every week. I get emails from all over the world asking me, Andrew, what happened to you? We haven't seen any new videos from you. Are you okay? Did you get kidnapped by aliens? Did you get... Uh, are you sick? Did you get uh, get hit by a bus? <laughs> None of that. Just swamped with commercial works. Anyhow, we're going to start our YouTube shows with impressive tutorials again. We're going to start it by taking questions from our viewers who are writing in from all over the world. This one comes from Richard Moores and his question is, I get a lot of motion blur when I preview my picture in the computer. I don't see them that much in the camera, but I see them quite prominently on my computer screen. What's wrong? Well, Richard, I look at the active info of your picture that you attach and I found out that your shutter speed was just too low. It's not exactly that low, but I suspect it's the way that you hold your camera. Let me show you one of the biggest problems that we have as photographers when we hold our cameras. Well, Richard, looking at your XF info, I can tell that you were using a DSLR and you're a DSLR user. Now, being a photography teacher for 20 years, I noticed that there are three ways you can hold your camera. You can hold it like a film photographer, like so. Not a good way. You can even hold it like this, like you're driving a car not a good way the best way to hold this is to choke your camera like so this is what you're supposed to do with your left hand your thumb should be here so the right way to hold your camera is with your left hand and not your right hand so the thumb should be able to pop up the flash if you're doing this then you're holding your camera correctly now you should have your index finger choking the lens like so. And that is why most expensive cameras or DSLR would have additional buttons here. And then you can use your pinky to hook at the back. So you are very stable when you hold your camera this way. Because I look at your shot, your shutter speed is about 1 over 40th of a second. That means you need to hold your camera very steadily and this is where a lot of people do it wrongly the right hand comes in and you should have your thumb pushing to the front of this camera and your index finger this i presume was what happened to the way you take your photo you put your finger here and let me show you what happens most people would just press on this shutter release button like so right okay a lot of you do this but look carefully the amount of pressure that you put in when you click your camera with this small little finger moves the camera can you see my camera moving director can you see the camera moving yeah. when your finger moves when i can see your finger moves your camera moves your picture will move and hence blurry motion blur. Now, the right way to do professionally is to wrap your index finger around the shutter release button like so. And then check this out. That's how you click. That way, you squeeze down and in. 
So this is how you make yourself look very professional. It's kind of like punching someone without punching someone. Now check this out. I'm going to put this on burst mode so you can see how impressive this way is. You notice that the way of clicking gives you very, very minimal movement on the camera. Now, additionally, to get stability, you should tuck in your elbow as well and your whole hand and camera and your arm function as one and push it to your face. That's the right way to get stability. So Richard, thanks for writing in. I hope this will improve on the way that you hold your camera and pressing the shutter release button. And I look forward to see your very sharp pictures in future. And for the rest of you good people here, continue writing to us. Don't forget to hit subscribe. We like to hear what your questions about photography are. We're going to continue making cool videos here on our YouTube channel.